What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. Come back. Somebody has requested to see a loadout of my truck. So let's do that. Because you asked. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I'm doing great. This is my one Saturday off from uh, travel of any kind. We're kind of home for the weekend. But I got a couple things to pick up. You'll see those eventually. Um, but this video is a requested video. The question was, and it came from Switch to Secondary off of YouTube. Uh, he also has an Instagram page i will put both of those down below um but he asked for a loadout video of my truck so that's what i'm gonna do i'm sitting at the gas station now i uh, just got gas so i'm gonna quick do a quick buzz through I'm not gonna cover all the stuff but i'm gonna cover pretty much the main stuff that's in my truck now one of the things you know i carry often all the time um, these compartments right here above me serve as part of the loadout I always keep a pair of sunglasses in this compartment here uh, right here that's sunglasses of course here got some business cards and some of the small mid 10 outdoor stickers that way I can hand them out if somebody asks this compartment I keep my Garmin in I keep my Garmin GPS when it's not in use. Now, I carry two guns mainly all the time. I either have my Glock 19 on me or I have my MMP shield. With that said, I always keep a spare mag in the truck loaded ready to go right there. Then the very last one, well, that's got a Glock 19 mag in it, full, ready to go. And some various cords for different electronics. Um, iPhone, I uh, got some... Uh, well, the other chargers for Samsung, that kind of stuff. Because my wife is a droid user. Bless her. And um, so I keep those cords up there. Uh, a couple other little cords. I can't remember what they are, but they're not used very much. Um, you know, I've got my patches up here and over there. If you have a Velcro patch you want to send to Mid-10 Outdoors, I will happily display it right up there then this well it just kind of keeps an ink pen for now and a couple other things in there um, and a couple of patches the door I have an instant fire fire extinguisher or fire gone fire extinguisher uh, keep a small pair of binoculars a gator and gloves and in a baggie right in there I think you can see that I keep maps uh, I got a Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, and then some local state park maps and some, uh, there's a couple other maps in there of some kind. So right here on my stalk, in case I run into a place I have to wear a mask, I keep masks. Then I keep a rechargeable flashlight right here. Uh, this is a Alpha uh rechargeable flashlight we can recharge it off a of micro usb hence one of the cords up there i have an anchor um power port which is a, a usb plug up style port i can plug in there when i want a good flashlight for camping i have an olight that i carry all the time with me camping and i keep a charger in the truck for that light um, that way I can charge it when I'm camping off one of my power cells. In the cup holder, well, we've got a, um, what is this? This is a WeatherTech uh, cup phone holder. I keep my phone in that when I'm on the road. Right up there is a universal mount that I use for my GPS when I'm on the road. Um, glove box, pretty much typical fare in a glove box, not really anything major. Here in a little bit, I'll show you in the very back or in the back. 
um, how I keep that loaded out. There's some different things in there you probably wouldn't think of or probably some things I'm missing. You never know. But uh, that's pretty much the, the cab. Oh, and I do have a glass seatbelt brake right here on my handle. So I can break the glass, cut the seat belt if I need to to get out of the truck. But we hope we never have to use that. But it stays right there on my grab handle in my truck. So we'll back in a little bit, we'll move to the rear. Okay, before I move to the back of the truck, the center console, I do keep a few things for filming videos for in the vehicle itself. I have a couple of things in here. Uh, but for the most part, it's really nothing I keep in the center console. That's something I want to work on is changing up the way the center console is used. Need to use it for something better. So let's go to the back of the truck. Okay, the back of the truck is where things get a little different, especially on the driver's side. Uh, keep a few other things that I do on the passenger side. So, down in this door, I keep a roll of the heavy duty paper towels. I also keep some redneck uh, aftershave bug spray. I do keep a cheap multi tool and a screwdriver with a couple bits. Then I also keep my trailer hitch connection there. And I keep a couple of beanies in case I ever need them. Like today, and it's 40 something degrees outside, and I'm wearing shorts. And then on the back of the seat itself is where it gets even more interesting. I keep one of these panels and I keep stuff in it. And what I have is my Leatherman Rescue, uh, Raptor Rescue right there. Uh, keep my Anchor rechargeable flashlight there. I have another rescue style uh, tool right here. I keep a um, water uh, life straw right there, just dangling off of it. I keep some of these in case you have to work on anything, some fast orange uh, hand wipes in case you have to clean up. I also keep some of the black um, heavy duty rubber gloves. And I never leave home without my medic first aid kit attached to this. Uh, you've seen this, I'll leave a link above for this video. Remember, mid 1020 at mymedic.com get you 20% off of your order. Then in the, um, then I've got my monopod that I keep in the truck all the time in case I need it. Keep a walking stick back here. Also under the seat, there's not much to really see. There's an umbrella or two, a wool blanket, and a tarp and some bungee straps. Okay, behind the very back seat is where it gets kind of messy and I've got to do some work on it. But... Keep some old CDs in case I want to hear a CD because I still have a CD player in my truck. I'm old fashioned. That way, I keep a Stanley Fat Max pry tool. This bad boy could get you by into anything. Um, breaching a door, breaching whatever you need to breach. I've used it for all kinds of stuff. You can see the paint missing off of it. I keep a high vis vest under here. We know how that can come in handy. Cheap stuff, but it works. I also have a safe in case I need to lock up a pistol going into a school or something uh, where I'm not allowed to carry. I do keep a safe in my truck to lock that up and keep it, well, safe and not just laying in the truck. Let's go to the other so, side. So, now on the other side, don't really keep a lot in this door. This is Chloe's door, so it's got a mask hanging off of it and a couple Chloe things hanging down in there. Um, under this side of the seat, I keep a set of jumper cables. I also keep a bigger first aid kit in case it's needed. Uh, all the product in there is from MyMedic. 
and I keep a spare tripod, travel tripod, under the seat. Okay guys, I hope that helped out a lot. <clears throat> I don't know, I may have missed a few things here and there, but for the most part, that is my loadout in my truck. It stays in my truck all the time. Um, there are probably things I probably need to add. There are probably things I'm kind of, and there are things that are redundant, but when it comes to like first aid and stuff like that, um, the more the better. Uh, you never know what you're going to run into on the road and may need something. Um, you know, you just never know. That's why I keep that tarp. That's why I keep that wool blanket in here. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You get stranded somewhere. Um, you know, there's all kinds of possibilities of things that can happen in the world. You try to prepare for none of them to happen and you hope they don't happen, And but you have the stuff in case they do. Um, but that's pretty much my loadout. Like I said, I'll leave the link to uh, Caleb's channel down below. Uh, he's been a long time subscriber to the channel. I appreciate his um, support of the channel and supporting his channel. So go check him out. He's in the Second Amendment. Uh, he trains a lot. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he is a gunsmith now. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, 2A every day everybody but that's it for this one uh, if you have a question you would like to see maybe a video on I can do it I like doing it the second video that I've had to do for uh, a viewer asked question and kind of like it so guys for this one that's it um, as we always say be prepared you can see my truck's prepared for quite a bit of stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.